All right, guys, before we get into the video, let's talk about foottrading.co.uk. Every single method you see in my videos can be found over on the website with buying and selling prices for almost every single card on the game. £10 a month gets you access to tier one buying prices. That's icons, special cards, silvers, and Thursday flips. For £15 a month, you get access to tier two. That gives you live filters, gold chem styles, UCL cards, and our amazing area of fluctuations where the market is continually monitored for highs and lows. You guys are then notified when to buy low and buy and sell high, basically a really easy way to make coins. We've recently introduced a tier three, thanks to you guys asking for us to develop a bot, basically. We came up with a program and what it does is it pings you every single minute, pretty much. I think it's every three minutes. You will get pings telling you when cards are low and what to sell those cards for. I'm gonna show you an example of that now. I'll be right back. All right, guys, and this is the area of the Discord for tier three users. As you can see, it is pinging you guys with the current price of these cards and the live target sell price. You have to cross-reference that with what the sell price has been recently and use some of your own market knowledge, but this runs 24 hours a day to make sure you guys are getting continual deals that you can keep making coins from. The legitimate way, a new ping's just come up right there for new cards that you can go out right now, buy and sell. So check it out, get involved, foottrading.co.uk. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. Apologies for lack of uploads this weekend, but number one, I was extremely busy. A lot happened, so I had to sort of deal with that. But flip side of that is my computer decided to blue screen on me. I think we've sorted it out now, but I wasn't able to upload an RTG because of it. I'm going to be entirely honest with you though. The game was winding me up yesterday. We did really well in Weekend League. You'll see that in the RTG itself. Um, but I didn't really have an intention. I won't spend some time with my family and I won't going to let Weekend League ruin my vibe. But this is going to be something we do all week this week. I want to talk to you guys about how you trade each day and what you should be doing to make coins on this game. If you follow these tips, I can guarantee you, you will make a massive profit. That profit will be easier for you if you head over to Foot Trading and subscribe over there. If you guys want the best team you can possibly build, I can guarantee you, you will make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of coins weekly. We have people doing that weekly over there. Join the Discord down below, it's completely free to do um, and it'll literally give you guys the ability to talk to people, trade with people um, and then speak to website subscribers and see how you feel. A massive giveaway coming next month as well on foot trading, so make sure you get involved. You guys know by, by now we've given away multiple next generation consoles, copies of FIFA 21, subscriptions to the site, so make sure you get involved like I'd say. But today and this week is all about how you make quick coins. So when you have a big promo on, it is not in your best interest to hold cards for too long. It is better to flip stuff on relatively quickly. Now, that doesn't mean you've got to flip it on within an hour. I tend to think of quickly as 24 hours. So say, right now, I'm recording this at 9.45 in the morning. For me, quickly will be this time tomorrow. I want everything sold. So anything I buy today is with the mindset of what's going to happen um, between now and tomorrow and how I can flip those cards on. The one danger you always have is 6 p.m. content which I got stung on, because if you remember, I bought these Ginters um, the other day. We bought these Ginters, um, and I didn't sell. I got greedy, and I've taken a hit on them, because I was like, oh, do you know what? I won't take the 5k profit. I'll wait for 6 p.m. Bang, Rousselon came out, and it hurt him, but he will bounce back slowly but surely. However, there's no, not multiple things you've got to think about at the moment, and the most important thing right now is Bundesliga Tots. Everything that I think about right now is based around Bundesliga Tots. So... First thing I want to talk about is the SBCs we're getting daily. These are causing fodder to spike like crazy when you couple them with other SBCs. So Wabakatuka, we all knew everyone was going to do him. The hype that Danny Harris has created around this card. It's not a good card in my opinion. Five star, three star. I just, yeah, I, I don't rate this card, but everyone loves him. And fair play to you guys. If you guys enjoy using him, then go ahead with it and, and use him. But everyone was going to do him. But when you couple that with Tapsoba, who is an absolutely brilliant SBC... Douglas Costa, who's quite nostalgic for a lot of people. Um, that Lazaro, which is an absolutely sensational card. And then on top of that, this 85-plus Bundesliga player pick suddenly fodder spikes. And I want to show you the graphs in a minute. And you have to take advantage at any moment you can with supply of fodder right now. Because when fodder comes out and there's no demand for it at that moment, it does drop quite heavily and it bounces back very quickly. And it's very easy profit continually because, like I've said to you before, it is not in EA's best interests for you guys to open up packs if anyone does it with FIFA points for whatever reason and for those cards to be cheap. It doesn't incentivize you to open packs up. Therefore, they want all the cards that's possible that are outside the tots to be worth something. It's important that you know that. And outside of that, we've also got the Bundesliga upgrade packs. Where are they? They are further on, I think. 
Um, the upgrade packs are here. Now, there's a lot of hype as well about the Bundesliga. Huge amount of hype. So what's happened? Gold rares have spiked and gold non-rares have spiked. But every single day this week at 6 p.m., we are going to get supply. And you can pick up gold rares at as close to discard price and sell them for nearly double the profit. It's, it's that easy. So if I show you my transfer pile in terms of random bits and bobs that we've got on here at the moment, I want you to sort of remember this near card take because we're going to talk about special cards in a minute. Um, but what I want to do today is take you through how you guys can be making coins and utilising every single opportunity you've got throughout the whole day. So first thing we're going to talk about is special card trading and what I'm doing currently. I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome to my transfer targets page. Um, and this page is hella important right now because it's where I'm storing everything to see what sells and what doesn't sell. But moreover, it allows me to look at loads of special cards from the Bundesliga and basically compare price on them and see when undercuts drop. So you see that near card I bought a minute ago for 40,000. I bought both of the near cards for 40,000 coins. I'm going to hope to sell them for 47 overnight. Um, but as you can see, I bought them on an undercut. Forget this one because it's not a shadow card. doesn't matter. Um, but what I've got here is knowledge of what's selling and what it's selling for, which is the most important thing right now, but also the ability to just press X on these cards and pick up anything that comes up low. So for example, this Kimmich right now, it's got a minute and 48 seconds left on it. Now I know, because I've seen Kimmich sell this morning for 69k, this card sells for 69k. As you can see, the cheapest one there is 69,000 coins. So I throw a bid onto that one, because why not? And outside of that, I'm looking at players like Klosterman. Now I'm going to show you how I found these cards once that Kimmich is done. But I'm keeping an eye on these Klostermans and whatnot, because there's a lot of Klostermans right now that have got bids on them. So we'll leave that one there. A lot of Klostermans that have got bids on them. So cards that are coming up to the end of their bids in a bit with 84,500 and a lot of people sleep on bids. A lot of people don't think actually, let me pick these cards up on bids. They just look for undercuts when bids are so OP on this game right now. They're so, so strong. But again, I can flick through Hinterweger, see if there's any cuts, undercuts on him. There's a 36 there. And again, I can go to the website. I go to for trade him. I will type in Hinterweger, see what it comes up with. And I know that buy price on him at the moment is about 33,000 coins. He's not too far away from that. He's really not that far away from it at all. I can keep an eye on him. And then again, I can look for bids on him. Is there anything that's a bid on him? So we can look at both these here. I can add the transfer targets. I can add that to my transfer targets. And I know I can't make a loss on that basis. And again, this commit here still sort of going. We'll keep an eye on him. But at the moment, that's an 8,500. Undercut... Apologies if those bark in, but they just have a habit of doing it right now. But right now, that's about, what, 8,500 undercut from where he was before. From where he's been on the market, in fact. We'll just have a look. Can we go Kimmich? I know a buy price on him at the moment is about 62, 63,000 coins if I want to make good profit on him. So we'll keep an eye on him right now. We've got 19 seconds left. And then once I've bought this, hopefully, I will show you what the undercut means and how I've done that and how I found these cards in the market. Because you've got to work with your budget and that's vitally important. Keep an eye on Xavi, who is very, very low right now. That's low, low for him. Let me just get the buy prices up on the website for him. So that image has been bought. I'm hoping so anyway. Sometimes it does lag out and it cause you a problem. So that Kimmich is bought. So we just bought a Kimmich with an 8,500 coin undercut, which is a dub. I'm just going to head over to Icons and just type in Xavi and have a little look at him. I'm pretty sure that's a pretty damn good deal. We're not far off by a price on him. I'm very tempted to buy that card, I'm not going to lie. Even with him being a slight. A 365 on him. Just check his sales and see what we've got. Again, you guys have literally seen me live trading. A lot of time you guys say, oh, shall I still be doing it live? This is me doing it live. Nah, that's not as good a deal as it looks. Not as good, good a deal. Anywhere near as good as it looks. He's come back up in price, but like, not just in the shabby. Anyway, so that Kimmich just bought. Now what we do, we'll go list him up. And again, I don't want to hold him for too long. For me, I'm relatively happy with my pri sell price of about 69k on him. So we're going to buy him for 69k. Send him 69k even, not buy him. And what I'll do is I'll list him for one day. I've got no reason to do anything other than that. And between now and tomorrow, he'll sell. And that's not a problem. Anyway, how do I find these cards? My budget is anywhere in the region of 400,000 coins, 500,000 coins a card if I really want to do it. But for the purposes of this, we're just going to say League, Bundesliga, Special. And what the way I break it down is I don't really want to be buying cards that are 10,000 coins realistically. That's not in, in my sort of wheelhouse. That's not what I care about. Something like 50,000, 200. Min buy now 50,000. Max buy now 200,000. And I'll flick through. And what you'll see is, I'll, as I get towards the end now, suddenly the minutes start to slow down and the pages become longer and longer and longer and longer because what is happening now is everyone's listing up their cards from weekend league and there's low tier and i get i can go like later than this but i go to about the 58th minute and i just compare price on these cards and have a little look at royce we'll have them to transfer targets for now because i haven't got one on there 
And again, I can just go over to foot trading and keep getting an eye on what he's selling for at the moment. So we'll check that in a second. Andre Silva. I don't really want to play about the Tots cards themselves. I'd advise you guys don't do that. I'd advise you guys steer clear of the Tots cards because they're continually being packed right now. Wakehorst, I can have a little look at him. Again, it's an okay deals on him there, but nothing, ter nothing terribly be incredible. Go Royce. So Royce will break a, a buy price. Sort of, I don't really want it any higher than about 110 to 115 at max, really. Jovic. Again, we'll have a little look at him. So it's a 58 there. 59. That's quite two quite hefty undercuts on him at the moment. So Jovic, what if? That is these are buys, to be fair. So we'll have a little look. They're quite hefty undercuts from what I can see. Yeah, we're going to buy these. So we're going to buy that one. And there's another 58, I think, or a 59. So we've got an undercut. There's a 62 or something. 69, 62 there. We'll leave him for now. We don't care about him. The 59 there. We'll buy him. Is this another one here? That's no, the same one that would have gone. Cool. And so these ones here, again, we're going to list them up for a day. Sell price on them. Let's try and get to like 65, maybe a little bit more if we can. We'll go 65 on one and 66 on the other. Um, we'll get those listed up. And it's about quantity. We're, not, we're carrying, like, we can sit and hold for long as long as we want. You could probably get a bit more than these. But again, I don't really want to hold these for too long if I can avoid it. And again, it's that easy. Exits or items later. And we go back again and we repeat that process. And we just keep an eye on what's going on here. So that one's not a deal. This Klosterman. I have an interest in 95 and him. He's been selling between sort of 105 and 110. And you can see at the moment on the market, 110 is the cheapest there. 107, 105. So we're interested in that. We'll bid on 95 on him. See if we get him. No problem. This Hinterego again, we'll bid on him. And it genuinely is this easy. Especially with the website, I can just sit there and go, let me just chill on it and not worry. And again, I repeat this process and I go to the end. And what I should really do before I buy these job is just add more to my transfer targets just to keep an eye on what other, other things are selling for. If those other ones don't sell, it doesn't matter. If I don't buy those other ones, that's the most I want to pay for them. So if someone out of bids on those, I've got no qualms. I don't really want to be spend, spending more than that on them. So again, we go towards the end. Keep clicking through. And so here we have a little look at Muller, for example. I, I, try, I tend to avoid cards that have like other like informs above them to some degree. So someone's not bidding on a card there. Emre Chan, we have a little look at. So he's got 115s at the moment there. 117. Any big undercuts on him here? 112. That's a 112. Let's add him to transfer targets. And again, I've just cross-referenced the site. You guys can do the exact same thing, and I'll show you how on Footbin. Emre Chan. Let's get him up. Not bad. 112's okay on him, but I want a bit, a bit cheaper if we can avoid it. Goretzka again. There's a 160 bid there. I'm interested in that. We'll watch him. And again, as Weekend League comes now, a lot of people sell these cards off en masse. And it brings the market down on these cards very heavily. And you can buy cards very, very, for very good value. Very good profit. Because people are undercutting like mad. And when that calms down, it gets better. Now we're here at 61. Again, 61's not a terrible deal on him. We'll have to transfer our targets. But I might ideally can hit him below 60 if I can, if I can get that for him. Douglas Cross, we just saw one sell for 78 a minute ago. There's a 70 there. Another 70 there. Buy price is about 65, so we're getting down towards, towards where we want to buy him. We're not quite there yet. Again, there's a bid on that one there. Any more bids on him? So we're not quite where we want to buy him yet. We want to hold off on him for a bit longer. Alaba, 143. And we'll let him transfer targets. Where is he there? And so on and so forth. And you get the idea. Basically, this is how you look at the cards and how you pick them up bit by bit by bit. What I then do is I list them up, and you guys will hopefully see some sales see today as I do this. I'll continue to do this throughout the day as we pick up that um, Klosterman. So we'll list him up. And again, don't want to hold him for too long. So we're going to look for sort of 107 on him. Something like that to make ourselves a good sort of 6k profit on him. 107 should be perfectly fine. And as you can see, if I go back now and have a little look, I've got an idea of what cards are selling for. So that cost itself for 78. It's, you see the 70s are decent deals on him. They're not bad deals at all. These 70,000 coin ones that are sat there chilling, they weren't bad deals at all. Though for some reason, I'm not showing him those. These aren't bad deals. We know he sells in and around that price, but I just want him a little bit lower before I buy, buy him. Just a little bit lower so there's more profit. There's a 72 now sitting there as an undercut, so I don't really want to buy him too quickly. But if I show you Footman now, a quick head over to Footman. Firstly, fodder. Important for you to see this. Parejo. This is what happens. You see the dip off, and then the 85 content comes out, he spikes like that. So he's gone from 11k on Saturday all up to 14,750. Bear that in mind, because it's important that you understand that there's a buy point on these cards. And he's not been as cheap as that since last week on Tuesday. It was a little bit higher than that on Tuesday. So when they get to that low, you know there is a buy point there because eventually it's going to come up. 
But if you guys want to see roughly what cards are selling for, this is your favourite best friend. Lucas Tosterman here at 105. So you go market sales history on him, and you get an ID. You see a 99 sale that happened 10 minutes ago before I start, just before I start recording. 103, 105, 105, 110, 110, 105. You know you're getting consistent sales in that area. So at 95, you can't go wrong. You're not going to lose coins on him. And that's all you've got to do. But again, you can do this across multiple places. I'm doing it on Bundesliga right now because Bundesliga is obviously quite hot. But you haven't got to do it in Bundesliga. You can go, okay, cool. Now I'm going to look at Premier League. Because why not? I know what stuff sells for the Premier League. You can check it however you want to set it and whatnot. You flick through, get to the end. And you can see there's a lot less being listed in the Premier League right now because people haven't really been buying Premier League cards. And that's Thiago Silva there, for example. The one that's got an hour left on him. I can add him to transfer targets to keep an eye on him. This Pogba at 118. There's a 110 there. And as you can see here, there's a lot of 125s overnight that people are listing. So arguably that 110 that you see over there is probably not that bad a deal. Because people have put a value on him like that. And what I would then go and do again is I'll check the website initially. We'll have a little look at Pogba. So Pogba's 87 in form. Buy price him is about 100k maximum. And again, we go and check it on Footbin. And we say, okay, cool. What are the buy prices on these cards on Footbin? We go to Pogba. We'll have a little look. We just I'll cross-reference it in the same way that you guys could cross-reference it. The desktop. Because remember, when you're spending 100k, you want to be worth your value. You see a 102 there. So you see he's been sending in around 99, 101, 95. So that 110 is not a great deal. We move on and forget about it. And that's what you've got to do. So what I'm going to do today is go out, buy stuff, sell stuff. Let you guys know what we do throughout the whole day. But that's what you should be doing right now to make coins on this game. So I'll be right back as we bought stuff and sold stuff. I'll see you soon. Before I go off and buy more stuff, I should probably reference the Neuhaus that was sitting there. Um, 58,000 coins we pay for him, which is good. There's one at the moment on the market at 60,000. Um, sitting shit in here, which has just been listed. Someone's bid at 56, which is, they're not going to get that. Um, again, at 58, can look to get something like 66 for him today. Um, we should get that relatively easy on him. But again, using the same method. But anyway, going to go out and buy some stuff now. I'll see you soon. All right, guys, apologies if you can see clothes and stuff hanging around me, but the vintage stuff is being listed up today. Uh, but an absolutely unbelievable deal as we're doing this. So Marco Royce, cheapest on the market at the moment, 136. We just picked him up at 95k using that method that I just showed you. So we're going to list him up for 130. Uh, should get that relatively easily for him at some point today. List him up for three hours and, and see how he goes. Uh, but yeah, really, really good deal there. And basically, that's the plan for today, just to continue to trade in that way. Uh, like I said, we're getting rid of those guns so slowly but surely. Um, they're shifting on. But that Murray House I showed you earlier on, uh, sold for 66 in the end. Which is a good profit on him too. Uh, but bit by bit, stuff being listed. Stuff that's got obviously longer on it as well in terms of these things here. So we're going to keep going, keep listing, keep selling. I'll see you soon. All right, so another quick update for you guys. Um, that Royce, 130. Easy sale on him. Cannot complain, nearly 30,000 coins in him. One of the Jovic's has also sold, which is nice. And then we just picked up an absolutely brilliant deal on the 92 Lewandowski. If I just show you on this. Had sales so far today of 108 on three different occasions in the last hour, which is really, really nice. Um, and like I say, we just picked him up for 85,000 coins on bid. Um, and again, like I say, playing about with these uh, Bundesliga as much as possible is the play for me because they've got demand. Um, they are being sold off as I'm growing, but because I'm buying so low, it's fine. Um, I'm buying well below price and being quite picky on my buys. Um, it doesn't matter so much, but you have to be a little bit careful because people are selling off weekend league stuff at the moment. Um, so we list them up. And as I say that, something else is just sold. Uh, the other Jovic is gone. So both the Jovic's we bought earlier on now gone. Uh, that Royce is gone. Neuhaus is gone. We'll keep listing some stuff up. Keep buying some stuff. And I'll come back to you guys in a bit um, with how we're doing indeed. See you then. All right. So next really good deal. This is just sat there for literally about two minutes. Which I'm surprised by. 58k on Daniel Wass. And the cheapest in the market at the moment is a 69. But prior to that, nothing other than 71. We're going to stay for 69 just because it makes sense. But it's easy profit. Um, I just want to take you through what the transfer list is looking like at the moment as well. Um... So list up West there. And they take you through a rough sort of guide of what transfer is looking like um, to end this off. But Lewandowski sold straight away for 105,000 coins, which is good. This class we picked up at 65, sold for 75. And outside of that, we've obviously got all this stuff that we've bought so far today um, that is listed. We've done this literally in the space of about 40 minutes. I think we picked up this stuff. And obviously, we've still got the Gunters that are being sold as well. They'll go bit by bit by bit. And then the Akate will relist up. But that literally is me showing you guys how you do this, how you trade. Easy, easy profit all the time by doing this. I'd advise looking at the Bundesliga right now. But La Liga and Premier League are still very hot. They both had tops teams. People have still got tops players from them. They're still very, very good. They're still very profitable. And again, it can be done across any league. It's just about breaking down your sort of coin total into what's a rough estimate. If you're looking at special cards, let's say you've got 500,000 coins. You don't really want to spend more than 50,000, 10% of your budget at a time on a special card. So set your filter up for like minimum buy now, 15,000, maximum buy now, 50,000, something like that. 
But that's going to be the end of the video. If you are new around here, as always, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.